Well guys, welcome back to my channel and I am telling you this video might surprise you a bit. I'm headed down to DC to do something really freaking cool. Probably the coolest thing I've ever done to date, especially from my travels. And I'm really excited to share with you guys. So let's jump into it and come with me on this little adventure that will definitely be a memory last lifetime. Well, good morning. I have something to tell you guys that you probably would never expect me to say, but I just finished getting ready and I'm leaving in five minutes out the door to go drive to Washington DC because tonight I am actually speaking on a panel at the Iraq embassy. Like, I'm sorry, what? This is not something I ever thought would happen, was gonna happen, potentially happen. As you guys have seen, if you watch the channel, I went to Iraq back in April last year, 2023, and I obviously recorded and filmed videos and put them up on YouTube and kind of shared my perspective and what it was like going there and what I learned and how my mind was just completely changed about a country, especially with what we see and have heard or known to be true from American media. By the way, most of it's not true. And so I was really pleasantly surprised and I really honestly freaking loved the country so much and the people. And so just a couple months ago, back in I think October, I got an email in my inbox from the head media officer from the Iraq embassy wanting to meet. And I was like, what? Like, what's happening right now? And so I ended up having a Zoom meeting with them. We chatted about my experience, about sharing, you know, what it was like as an American there. And they told me that they're hosting an event at the embassy and they were trying to portray a different light into Iraq. They're trying to kind of give a different idea to Americans for what it's actually like over there and not a war torn bullet hole building everywhere kind of desert. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, culture rich kind country and so i shared that on my videos and obviously they really liked it and so they're hosting this event to kind of give that perspective from americans who've been there so literally tonight at 6 p.m i will take you guys with me i am going to the iraq embassy and i'm going to be speaking on a panel with another fellow american youtuber who's been to iraq a couple times now and yeah we're going to share our experience and what it was like going there but i am so excited and also like this is a once in a lifetime experience i'm not sure how many people can say that they have spoken on a panel at the iraq embassy but yeah heading to dc i'm really excited we're also going to be doing a little tour of dc because i've been a couple times but always to like visit friends and i've never really done like the washington monument the lincoln monument the White House. So we're gonna do all those things today. I'm gonna take you along for a little DC vlog and then to the Iraq embassy. My mom's coming with you, I'm super excited. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a really cool day. Um, I'm not sure what my expectations are. I'm just really excited. So now it's time to eat my little bagel made and get in the car and drive down to DC, but I am really freaking excited, so let's go. Well, we made it to DC. The sun has come out. We're on our way to the Capitol building right now. I've never actually like done DC like I said before in terms of touring stuff, but we're going through a little Capitol Hill tour and then go to the Washington Monument, Lincoln Monument, and then head to the embassy for Iraq, get some lunch. I'm really, really excited, but let's go see the US Capitol. Well guys, I'm an idiot and apparently didn't plug my microphone in. So we'll do a little voiceover tour, but we went to the Capitol. We walked around, we learned a lot from the museum and the tour about the Senate, the Bill of Rights, the constitution, how things are put into law in the US. And then we headed off to the Washington Monument and did a nice little tour walking around there. Before heading off to the places actually most excited to see, which was the Lincoln Memorial. So as you saw, we did a little drive by of the Washington Monument. I'll show you guys what you can see from here. Nice little water up to the Washington Monument. It is really pretty. I do want to come like one year during cherry blossom season because the pictures with all the pretty like pink cherry blossoms that line the whole way like up to the monument look gorgeous. Right now it's a bit chilly and a bit gray today so it's not quite as beautiful but it is still really pretty and it is such a good view. So here we go. We've got the Washington Monument. It probably looks extremely far from here, but here we are. Lincoln Memorial is right up there. We'll go check it out. And then right back here, we've got the whole waterway up to the Washington Monument and the Capitol on the other side. 
And now I'm actually excited because I've never seen this before and I'm American and I'm like from New Jersey. I'm not even that far from DC. And I've never yet seen the Lincoln Memorial, which is obviously the big statue of Abraham Lincoln. So let's go check it out. And we made it. Here we go, Lincoln Memorial. Mr. Abraham Lincoln up there. In this temple, as in the hearts of people for whom he saved, the union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. Well, there we go. We got some American history in there, saw the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, as you can see behind me. Very nice. I'm also so freaking nervous. Like, I've been practicing my questions. I've been practicing everything that I obviously want to say for the embassy and they gave me some questions they're going to ask. Just about my experience and stuff and trying to just like jog my memory more, but making sure that I'm articulating myself well, but I am really excited, also nervous. So fingers crossed for me. And we made it to the embassy and here is Doug, the other speaker on the panel who's also an American YouTuber. And I can't wait to share with you guys some clips from the event. I really enjoyed my time so much. So here are some of my experience on going to Iraq. Are there any like, uh, myths or misconceptions about Iraq that you would like to correct based on your experience? Definitely. Um, I think before going to Iraq, I had misconceptions based on US media and some stories that have been portrayed. And then when I went to Iraq, I was completely taken aback by the level of kindness and generosity and welcoming the Iraqi people had and how safe I felt. Like there, there was never a moment where I questioned my safety. Everyone was so generous and kind and I think the stigma that Iraq is full of desert or war-torn buildings or things like that it has such a diverse culture and has so much richness to it that I think people really need to see. The Iraqis have taught me more about human kindness and to be open-minded than any other place I've been in terms of the fact that you can't judge a person or a culture or an entire country off of something you've seen on TV years ago and that there is more good in the world than there is not. And even when we were in Babylon, our tour guide was telling us about how he was actually a war prisoner years ago from Americans and I kind of felt bad and I, I questioned like, do you have any feelings towards Americans still? And he was like, no, we're all human, we all have a heart and we all have love. And it was like that sentiment throughout was so apparent with all Iraqis. And I think like that message of just being open-minded and understand there's more kindness out there than there is bad and that Iraqi is honestly, I've never felt such generosity and kindness than being there. Honestly, like what an experience it was being able to speak at the Iraq embassy in Washington, DC. Being able to share my experience was something that I really, really valued and enjoyed because obviously the Iraqi people know what Iraq's like, people from the Middle East know what Iraq's like, but a lot of Americans being able to share their firsthand experience could really help to change a country and to change people's portrayal of it. And it's not just the war torn, crazy area where you have to worry about being kidnapped or killed or someone's going to put a gun to you. Like, when I tell you that the Iraqi people are the warmest and kindest people, I'm sure as you saw with the multiple clips I had in this video, they are incredible. And I'm really excited to see Iraq grow as a country, grow in democracy. This entire event was about the growth over the past 20 years for Iraq's democracy. And one of the really cool things that I learned while I was there was that a lot of the people who are like in their early 20s, more than half the population is young, and a lot of the people in their early 20s, they're not looking to go to school abroad. They're not trying to leave Iraq after they graduate. They're trying to rebuild Iraq. And everyone we spoke to, they're so excited to see the changes, to see the growth in the country. And I know tourism is gonna help Iraq a lot and just give people a different perspective and for them to be able to share their culture. Like they have such a beautiful culture and the amount of history that is so 
old and rich. And one of the crazy things is they haven't even scratched the surface to being able to excavate a lot of the things that they have historically in the country. So I know this country has such a bright future ahead of it. And I was really, really excited to share my experience. And I hope that maybe these videos have changed your mind a little bit and given you a new light and new perspective into what it's actually like to visit Iraq. And if there's one thing I can say, and there's one thing I definitely shared a lot during my experience at the event was to believe people's opinions from those who have been somewhere. Stop listening to Uncle Jerry who tells you that Vietnam is not safe and that the Middle East is where you're gonna get killed when he's never been. Start listening and talking to the people who've gone to these countries. Start getting first hand information. Watch videos, watch YouTube. There's TikToks. There's so many cool creators going out there and sharing different places. And I think that's where you should be getting your information. And maybe not from downstream of somebody who told you, who told somebody else, who told somebody else that it wasn't safe. But that was the moral of my kind of experience and story and I was really excited to share all of it with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying my channel and are really excited to see more of my Barcelona content, living in Spain and traveling lots of Europe and I have some really cool trips coming up and also sharing some more insights into my digital nomad journey, how I got started and tips for you guys. If you wanna freelance or if you wanna work online, then definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and join our community. Send me a DM if you have any questions on Instagram. I'm always here to help you guys and I'll catch you next video. See ya.